Welcome back viewers again to a new episode of our student's manual series. Today we'll be talking about the time value of money and the formula needed to calculate it. So let's not delay and get on with it. Time value of money is the idea that money that is available at the present time is worth more than the same amount in the future due to its potential earning capacity. Any amount of money is worth more the sooner it is received. It is a term used in all subjects related to business but has a widespread use in both finance and economics. Staying on the top of finance, one of the most fundamental concepts in this subject is that money has a time value and it is said that a dollar was worth more yesterday than today and a dollar today is worth more than tomorrow. There are some variables that are needed to calculate the time value of money. 5 to be more precise. Number 1. Present value, which is the current starting amount. It is the money that one may have in their hands in the moment, the initial investment. Number 2. Future value. This is the money that one may have at a selected moment in the future. It should be worth more than the present value provided it is earning interest and growing over time. Number 3. The number of periods. This is the timeline for one's investment. It is usually measured in years, but it could be done in any scale of time such as quarterly, monthly, or even daily. Number 4. Interest rate. This is the growth rate of your money over the lifetime of your investment. It is a stated as percentage value such as 8% or 0 0.08. Number 5. Payment amount. These are series of equal evenly spaced cash flows. This can be calculated with any of the four variables stated before. With the variables, we end our discussion behind what time value of money is. And let's move on to know how to calculate the time value of money. Depending on the exact situation in question, the formula needed to calculate the time value of money can be changed slightly. But generally, the most fundamental and common formula considers the following variables. We present FV for future value of money, PV for present value of money, I for interest rate, N for number of compounding periods per year, T for number of years. Based on these variables, the formula would be as such, where PV multiplied to the addition of 1 and the quotient of i and n to the power of the product of n and t. An example would be, Kadiri invested a sum of $10,000 for one year at 10% interest rate. The future value of that money would be $11,000. Smart move, Kadiri. The formula can also be rearranged to find the value in the future, in present day dollars. For example, the value of $5,000 one year from today, compounded at 7% interest, is 4,673. Thus, with that, we end our video on the time value of money and how it should be calculated. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. See you again on the next video.